How are you doing? I'm good. Been a uh, hectic past 24 hours, um, but happy to be here. So you posted a shot from inside the stadium. What was it like that first moment walking in there? That was awesome. Man. I've never been to Buffalo before, so being able to go in there, um, I didn't know my thing was going to be up there, so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, really cool. Um, glad to have my parents there with me. You know, taking the moment was awesome. Hey Cole, you mentioned the Zoom meetings with the Bills last night. How did they challenge you in terms of what the scheme Utah ran and what these guys run? Yeah, they would uh, install just one of their coverages, some pretty basic, um, but just use different terminology and see if you can kind of retain that information and then give it back to them um, and then pull up some of your plays in game. You know, what are you guys running here? See if you know what you're doing, everyone else's job. Things like that. Have you heard from Dalton since the pick last night? Yeah, we uh, talked on the phone for a little bit last night, so he's pretty excited. He's not in town right now, but, um, I mean, next time I'm back, I'll see him. Did you see his tweet with the, the gift? <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> pretty funny. How much did they talk to you about your versatility, being able to kind of play up in the box and then play the in deep? Yeah, a little bit. Um, during the process, it's more um, them just kind of, trying to feel you out. I mean, now is when I'll figure out, you know, where they see me. Um, so right now, just trying to figure out, you know, what it, the plays. I mean, as soon as I get the playbook, you know, start trying to learn that and then, you know, start trying to see where they want me to play. Is there one that you're more comfortable with than the other? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. I think, uh, you know, being able to play both is something that's going on in this, you know, today's NFL a lot. So being able to do both of them is something that'll help me. How much take and being recalled? conversation he had with you at the senior ball, he was asking how many times can K beat you and you said no I got the best of him. Do you realize he checked with Dalton just to make sure? Yep, and Dalton confirmed. But uh, <laughs> Dalton's done some great things obviously so getting to go back and compete with him will be awesome. When did you know that Dalton was the real deal? As soon as uh, so, I mean, he was always great in practice and everything, but Brent Keithy at that time, our other tight end at Utah, was getting predominantly most of the catches. Um, but then once he went down, Dalton really took over and, um, I mean, started doing great and, I mean, was the best tight end in the country. So being able to compete against him every day was huge. Brandon revealed yesterday that he was in talks to try to trade up for you. Did you know that? Uh, and how does that work in a player's mind? Does that make any difference, provide you with more confidence entering a new situation? No, I did not know that until today. Somebody told me earlier. Um, I think he actually mentioned it, but um, it's kind of, I mean, there was a, I had an ideal range or an idea of what range it was going to be and then, you know, what teams need safeties. I mean, you can Google what teams need safeties. So being able to just look that up and then, you know, there's a 10 pick range or so where a few teams need safeties. And then, you know, I was hoping it was Buffalo and it worked out. What's the difference? What are some of the differences between what you did at Utah schematically and what you've seen so far from the Bills? I honestly don't know too much about the Bills defense yet. I uh, got one play installed to me, so I'm getting a playbook tonight, so or at some point, and you know, learn it up then. But until then, I don't really, I don't want to lie and say you know <laughs> it's similar. But I have no idea right now. And, uh, big. How do you approach that diving into a new playbook? Like, what kind of study are you? Yeah. Um, I played in the same playbook for my three years at Utah. So, I mean, whenever I first got there, obviously, as a freshman, and now I have more knowledge of football, but coming out of high school, you, I mean, you only know pretty base stuff. So um, I'm excited for it. I, uh, I love to, you know, study football. That's something I'm passionate about. So being able to have a new challenge will be fun. Um, I like to watch a lot of film. So I don't know. Got to gotta figure it out. <laughs> You can make a you can make a game changing play against the pass or a game changing play against the run. Or what would you prefer? Man, I mean, a big hit feels great, but I mean, there's no other feeling compared to like an interception. Um, I had a big interception at the end of our Baylor game this year, and I mean, nothing compares to that feeling. So definitely against the pass. Big shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill, and uh, two are pros and Poirier and High. How much tape are you going to go home and study on those two guys? Haven't watched much yet, but like you said, I'm gonna. Um, obviously, I know who they are. I watch football, so you know, seeing their highlights and everything has always been cool. Um, I've been hearing more about the safety tradition here, so being able to study those guys for the past few years will be awesome. Um, obviously, learn as much as I can from the guys here. Um, I'm sure we'll be watching them as well. So just try to take in as much as I can. Are you, how do you 
work towards aligning yourself with this culture and becoming part of the future of this franchise that has been successful on our show. Yeah, from what I've heard, it seems like this culture in Utah's culture a little bit similar. Um, you know, kind of that blue collar mindset. Um, so I'm coming in, I'm bringing my own culture, my own culture, but also I'm going to buy into whatever they do. Um, so, I mean, I'm just excited to get around the guys. Um, you know, try to do something special. You display great ability to rush the passer. Uh, is that something that's innate, or is that something that you developed over time? Um, I didn't really blitz a ton in high school, so I guess it was developed or kind of. I mean, I was always felt like once I got to college, I was a good blitzer, um, you know, working pass rush with the running backs and linebackers and things like that. Um, at Utah, if you weren't on a certain special team, you would just do pass rush moves with the defensive ends. So did a lot of that um, in my free time when I wasn't, you know, doing punt team. So got some good moves from those guys. Um, Jonah Ellis, he uh, taught me a lot. So got a little bit of moves from them. Bar Phil, what, did, what would you say would be your proudest moment as a Utah U? Uh, probably winning the Pac-12 championship my freshman and sophomore year. Um, both equally exciting just for, I mean, exciting in different ways. My freshman year, I mean, it was crazy. And then the second time was, you know, bigger. Uh, just kind of a different game. So, I mean, winning the Pac-12 championship was huge. Well, you, when you talked to you yesterday, you said you played free, you played strong. Was, here in Buffalo, they interchange their safeties. There's really no free, no try. I know that's kind of more common in football now. Did you at Utah have a specific free, a specific strong, and had two completely different jobs before the interchange? So my freshman and sophomore year was free and strong. Um, I was a strong safety, pretty much only that. And then this past year, I was just the left side and my – other guys, Sione Vaki um, was the right, so we were completely interchangeable. There's times where we'd swap, but so I played free and strong. I mean, pretty much 50 50, so I'm ready to be interchangeable. Is a team that plays a lot of nickel? Do you feel that fits your play style? Me playing nickel? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm more of a safety. I mean, I can do it. I did it at times at Utah, um, but that's not my specific position. Um, but I mean, I, I can do whatever is asked of me.